Sarah Oates here with Divi Space, and in this video we're going to show you how to put a call to action at the bottom of every single one of your blog posts. Of course this could relate to any of your custom post types, so it could be product pages or it could be a membership type website. Anywhere that you've got a custom post type, you can have something show at the bottom of it just for that particular post type. So you might have one call to action you want to show on every single product page, but you want a completely different call to action to show on every single blog page. Well, I'm going to show you how you can do that now. So what we're going to do for this particular one is we're going to use one of Elegant Themes' layout packs. And so it's going to look really cohesive with the rest of our website. We've already used the travel agency layout pack and in this video we're going to use that one again. So as you can see here we've got a blog post and at the bottom it just goes straight to the footer. But we'd like to have a sign up form at the bottom so that every single person gets the opportunity to sign up to the newsletter once they've read through a blog post. Alright, so what we're going to do first is we're going to add a brand new page. So come into pages and say add new. Now the reason we're doing this is because we want to load up one of the Elegant Themes layout packs. So we're just going to add the page. If you don't want to keep the page that's fine, um, but in this case we will keep it because we do want to have a blog page on the website. Alright, so we've said use the Divi Builder and now we're going to use the Visual Builder. Once that's loaded up, you're going to get the opportunity to choose an existing layout. So click on the purple one here and then you can go and search through for a particular module that might work or a section that might work well for your website. Now because we've already been using this travel agency, it makes sense to continue using that. And what I noticed is that this blog page here has an awesome call to action at the bottom. So we're going to use this layout and then we're going to save this section and use it on every single blog post. So once you click on that button, it will load that up, upload all the information that it needs to, to your website, and then we can see it's looking fabulous. So I'm gonna click publish because we do wanna keep this page, but you don't need to if you don't wanna keep the page, of course. We're gonna right click here on this whole section, which is the call to action, and we're going to say save to library. We're gonna call that blog call to action, and then we're going to, I'm gonna put it in a category, but you don't have to, of course and then say save to library. You don't need to make it global, you just need to have it as a regular old section. All right, now we can exit the Visual Builder at this point. We've done everything we need to with that page. That's gonna show us now, we've got our beautiful looking blog page, we've got the call to action at the bottom, and then the footer that we already used, Page Builder Everywhere, to place on every page of the website. But now, if we go into one of our blog posts, we still don't have this call to action, and that's what we wanna do, is put it there. So go into Widgets, I'm going to reload this page just to make sure it's all fresh. Say Divi Builder Page, bu page Builder Everywhere widget and we want to put this below the content. You could put it above the content of course or you could put it in the footer, whatever you would like to do. But we're going to put it here. We're going to go and choose this. So blog call to action. I had two there just because I already recorded this video once. Now we're going to say remove the title. And then the important part is we're going to say where. So this is where you can select where you want this to show. So this would work exactly the same. If you want it to show just on product pages, then you would select that custom post type. But for us, we want to select that we want it to go on page. So if you wanted it to go on products, you'll go to post type and then you would, we don't have Woo installed and so we don't have products. But if we had Woo installed, then products would be an option here. Or you could have it just showing on project projects, for example. But what we want it to do is we want to show it just on posts. Now we're going to say save and that's it, you're done. So we're going to come back here to our post, reload the page and now we're going to have our beautiful looking call to action. Now the awesome part about this is you can update this as much as you want and it's going to roll out again onto every single one of your blog posts and you can keep that nice and fresh as much as you want. You're not having to interact with global modules, you just have to change it out there. And then of course you can have a different call to action showing on all of your different um, all your different custom post types as well. So I hope this has been really useful. We are gonna be having more videos to show you how else you can use Page Builder everywhere. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.